The first round of the NBA playoffs continues as we get ready for game two on EA Sports. Capital One Arena in our nation's capital. Tonight, the Washington Wizards taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Along with Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Wizards coming into play. They were winners in game one. That's critical to get that first one in a five-game series. And the important thing to remember here is that this is not a seven-game series. We're only going five. So you've got to bring it each and every night and play like your season depends on it. Can't connect from inside. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. First one goes down. Goes two for two. And that one is out. Washington basketball. Steps it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. to Brunson. Able to convert inside. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Right through the heart of the defense. The layup is good. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. With the fadeaway, burns him for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. It's Washington with the basketball. Stuffs it down with authority. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. Here comes the screen. The screen sets him up for two. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse, the ankles or the bruised ego. Rebound grabbed by the Hornets. drive to the basket but it somehow stays out and one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane gets a look can't hit that's how you do it you keep riding him to the basket and if the refs aren't calling it keep being physical keep knocking him off balance from the painted area won't go down Beal Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. And so many players, when they come into the paint, they come in with that soft approach. He didn't come in soft at all. He came in with aggression, and he went through the defender. Through, not around. That's key. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. 
Brunson. To Mikhail Bridges. Scores from the post. Now the Wizards going to take the timeout as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. go to the foul line. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. First try, no good. Good bounce back. Hits the second. It's a one of two trip. <laughs> Throws it down. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Here comes the screen. Here's a chance from long range. Not that time. He missed it. He's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Oh, uh, you got to know your personnel. That's not someone you want to send to the line for a free two. First free throw is good. Able to convert on both free throws. Great feed sets it up. Oh, emphatic slam. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Baseline drive. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Charlotte with the basketball to Brunson. Takes stock of the floor. Here comes the screen. Second effort. Another shot won't go either. it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Slams it down, and there was no stopping him that time. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. And look out. Big finish at the rim. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. And he'll head to the line. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Hits the first free throw. And gets both to drop at the line. Pick up, pick up, pick up. 
Goes reverse to lay it in. Justin Santiari at the buzzer. We've reached halftime here in game two. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. The Charlotte Hornets were unable to find an offensive flow in the opening half. Of course, they still have two quarters to turn things around, but it won't happen without making some adjustments. These are the guys getting buckets for the Charlotte Hornets. Player of the half. The film speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Wizards with the basketball. Oh, with the foul and a chance coming up at the line. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. First one, count it. Goes two for two at the line. Brunson. up with Beal trying to cash in that's what you come to expect your best players making baskets you know what I like about this pass play instead of putting his head down and forcing the action he patiently waited for the play to develop and he finishes at the rim no doubt about where that one was headed Brunson in the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythms. Oh, emphatic slam! An easy two. Get back on defense. Hornets at the controls of this one. Brunson has a look. Wide open look, won't go. Just seems like there's lead in the feet of the defenders. You have to bounce quicker to the ball to deter that shot. Count the basket inside. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. To Harden. Let's it fly from long range with James Harden. Muscle memory gets it to go. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Brunson. 
fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Great shot by the offense, but the defense, you can't afford to collapse off that penetration. I'd rather a team take a tough two than a... Looks like both teams are making substitutions. It goes down. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Charlotte basketball. Harden. Here comes the screen. Harden, not going down here. To Hollis Jefferson, big slam. Oh, he looked like he was on a mission. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Harden with it up top. His club staring up at an eight point deficit. Gets it in the right corner. inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Look, the most efficient offenses are the ones with the highest number of assists. There are only five teams in the league that average 25 assists or more. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Harden. good from somebody who loved to score a lot himself defensively if you are guarding me in a parallel position I can have whatever I want when I want you have to force this guy to go one direction make him go towards his weak hand and then contest that shot Back slam. If you know anything, it comes down to who wants it more. And right now, the offense is just hungry. James Harden at the controls. Deep right corner. To Harden. Shot clock winding down. Wizards pulled down the board. A tons of contact. Throws it down. I mean, sometimes as a defensive player, you have to send a message. I remember I came down the lane once against the Lakers. Shaq put me on my back. He stared at me. Then I thought once or twice or three times about coming down the lane again. To Harden. Shot clock to four for Charlotte. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions.
free throw up and good as they open things up to a 13-point lead. Now it's Harden controlling the offense. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. The Wizards are the winners. They'll take a commanding two games to none lead into game three of this five-game series. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Wizards got themselves a win here today. And some people may disagree, but I think their ball movement was the biggest key to their victory. Still, I think we'd all agree that they made the defense look slow and confused throughout this matchup. Player of the game. I like this choice because he really put on the show in this game. There's a reason he's a fan favorite.